There's a famous expression about Jews being the canary in the coal mines, but it doesn't really fit today's modern era. You see, during World War II and before World War II, during the 1930s, most Jews were silent, assuming it would be like millennia past, where a bunch of Jews would get killed, lots of stores would get destroyed, you know, but then it would go away after a little while. They assumed the hostilities would blow over. But even after a few years, they still assumed. And until 1941, they still assumed at some point it would just go away. But today, we've learned that lesson. We've learned the lesson that never again is not a non-Jewish thing. It is a uniquely Jewish thing as the entire world has abandoned the Jewish people once again. And so right now, the canaries are screaming every single day. Just in the past week, we had yesterday a Montreal store, Jewish restaurant, had bullets fired into it during the night. We had synagogue shootings, usually at night in, in Canada. And we had Canada pass that you can't teach Jewish history if it offends other people. And so the entirety of Israeli history has suddenly been erased from Toronto schools. And we have shots fired outside of a synagogue in Seattle, and we have every single day, or every single week, someone just screaming at Jews on the street, yelling, just really, really screaming, just the most disgusting, vile things, anti-Semitic slurs in the streets of New York City, and that's not even getting to the protests that have been taking place around the world, usually in Jewish neighborhoods, or at Jewish locations, nothing to do with Israel, just at Jewish locations around the world. And then of course this week we had a 12 year old French girl who was raped by three of her peers because she was Jewish, which is always a really sign of the times. It's interesting, if you read the Holocaust book, actually you should read the book called The Holocaust, it's an 850 page book, we're at that time, and at that time then, two Jewish girls were taken to a cemetery and summarily raped by the Nazis. And by the Nazis, we mean the Hitler Youth because that was the Nazis at that time. History is literally repeating itself in the most grisly fashion. The difference being that it's around the world. It's not just Germany. When Maldives banned Israelis, it had to pull back when it found out that it would also ban Muslims. No. Hold on, they said. We only meant to ban the Jews, not the Muslims, not the Arabs in Israel, just the Jews in Israel. You see, it's becoming more and more of an issue. During World War II, the United States put a ban, mostly, on immigration of Jews, including the Nazis. England put a ban. Canada put a ban. All the countries starting ba started banning Jews from fleeing. Where else is there to flee to besides for Israel? And Israel is under attack. Is it even okay to say that Hezbollah shooting suicide drones and missiles and rockets at Jewish cities, is that an anti-Semitic attack? Can we count that in the numbers? Is that the same as some random Jewish museum owner's house being painted with blood. Is that in the same equivalence? For some reason people think it's even less, even though that's targeting their lives. That's where we are today. Of course, the Houthis of Yemen have been shooting ships out of the sea and they just sunk another one. So that place is getting very hostile. The last Jew there just died. Lots of places are, Jews are fleeing or already too free. And that is the screams. Trust me. Screams are a good sign. When the screams are over, you don't want to know what happens. If it's silent, run. Right now we're screaming. Try to listen. See you next video.